feed tarantula slings, what works best for me is cutting up mealworms. I absolutely hate, hate, hate this. I just feel like I'm being so cruel, like chopping them up into little pieces and it makes such a mess. It's just really gross and really cruel, I feel. But my baby slings have gotta eat. If you have other alternatives that work for you, just let me know, because I would appreciate something else. Oh, I just hate it. Okay, I chopped up two mealworms. I didn't do it on camera because it's disgusting. I just didn't want y'all to see that if you didn't want to see that. So um, I put the heads to the side because in my experience, they don't really like the heads, unless it's just the ones I fed it to are being picky. I don't know, but I'm gonna feed these little body part bits to them. I'm gonna start with my fire leg. This one actually hasn't eaten for me yet because he was in pre-molt for a while once he came in the mail. And um, then he molted, and now it's time to finally eat. So I'm gonna give him a little body part of a mealworm. They don't always eat it right away. Oh, he did. He got it. He was hungry. This one does not have a name yet. So name suggestions would be appreciated. I actually have several things that need names. So, um, yeah, let me know if you have any ideas. Next we have our Grandma Stola Rosia. It actually molted not that long ago also. And I didn't even realize it was in pre-molt, so it was a fun surprise. It just went and hid in its burrow, so I'm not sure if we'll see it eat on camera or not. But the beauty about these dead mealworms is you can leave them in there for a bit. I mean, obviously not that long because of bacteria, but it won't hurt your baby tarantulas. So you can see I put it right there at the mouth of the burrow. So as soon as it starts coming out, it'll see it. But if in a few hours these haven't been touched, I'll probably take them out. I don't want them to take the chance of their enclosures being nasty. My C. elegans is in here. This thing gets ridiculous and tries to run sometimes. You can see it's cute little butt. Well, no, you could for a second, but it's gone. So I'm just gonna place it in there. It's always hard to predict if the sling will be out or not. But this one, last time I fed it a dead mealworm, it went to town on it. I have Fang in here. It is my Therophosine species Pira. It's still pretty little. Um, we'll see if he wants to eat. This one is actually a really big eater for me, but it ate a lot last time it was fed. It might not want it. So I'll feed it something like a smaller bit. Put it right by it. It hasn't gone for it yet. They don't always attack the dead prey right away just because it's not moving. I have two Leetsies right here. These don't have names yet either, but I don't know if I wanna give them names yet just because um, they're extremely small and kind of at the stage where they could still pass away with no reason, really. So I don't wanna to get too attached yet, even though I absolutely love them. But they eat the dead prey also even though it's like huge compared to them. Sorry, drop the lid. On to the next one. This next one is about half the size of the Leetsy I just opened up, which they didn't start out that way. So it makes me a bit worried. I hope it's still growing fine, even though that one is growing huge. Makes me nervous. But um, this one is right there. So 
Sorry, if you hear any weird noises, it's because we are right next to the guinea pig cage. And they are extremely loud. Guinea pigs are absolutely crazy things. Chica Dwarf is in here. I have seen it above ground a few times lately, but it doesn't stay up very long. But my guess is that it's looking for food and that it's hungry. So um, there's no way we're gonna see it right now, but I'm gonna put this in there and I'll check on it in a bit to see if it's taken it. I'll show you real quick my tiny Litsi is eating that prey. It's definitely not gonna be able to eat it all. So um, I will have to go in and remove any extra that it leaves behind. But I, I'm just happy to see it eating because they are so small, I'm so worried about them. But hopefully they'll both survive and be healthy. So those were all my slings that needed to be fed. I'm just gonna show off the rest of my slings right now just because they're adorable and I love them. <laughs> you can hear the guinea pigs making their weird noises. So sorry about that. But right here, um, he's not getting fed because he is so fat right now. Um, I believe he's in pre-molt, but he also went to town on the last feeding. So it could be that also. You see, ooh, oops, I'm so sorry, buddy. This is Rigel, this is my grandma Stola Poultra. I love him, I love my grandma Stolas. They are my weakness when it comes to tarantulas. They are the best and so sweet. Then I have my little beetle juice right here who has been in pre-molt for a very long time, about two months, I think. He hasn't eaten. Oh, he just went into a stress pose and I opened it. I'm so sorry, buddy. I have been leaving him alone. But you could see him crunched up into the corner right there. Or not corner, but the side. Sorry, buddy. This guy is normally so, so active, but something in pre molt, not so much. Well, that's to be expected. This is my Guatemalan tiger rump. It's the Davis Pentaloris, I believe. It just molted a few days ago. And it is so tiny. I don't know if we'll even get to see it. He, well, I saw him a second ago, but I can't find him now. But he is tiny, tiny. And he did have more dirt in here. It, like, compacted down over time, but I can't mess with him now. I need to wait till he comes out, and then I can add more dirt. I swear, it started off way more, but it just, I don't know, squishy dirt, I guess. Next, we have my pumpkin patch tarantula. I call him Jack. I don't really know if it's a male or female. He's right there. I believe he's in pre-molt. He is pretty fat. But um, I don't know if it's a male or female, like I said. So if it is a female, then its name will be Jackie instead of Jack. But I like it because uh, from the nightmare, be the nightmare Before Christmas, like Jack Skellington, the Pumpkin King. Oh, he's moving around a bit more. Oh. And last but not least, this last sling that I'm not feeding today. We can't see it at all. I think it's fully in its burrow. But this is my Tanzanian chestnut baboon. It's my only old world tarantula. Um, it came in the mail from Erisus as a freebie. I did not think I was ready for an old world because of how fast they are and I'm so worried about escapees while rehousing or feeding. But this one is fairly chill. It is still extremely fast. But if I need to get in there uh, and it's out, which it is out most of the time, I'll kind of tap on the side and then it goes to its burrow and then I can get in there without any issues or without it trying to escape. So um, I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep it at first, but I fell in love with it. It's so active. I know they're not all this active. I got lucky with it, but I just love watching it and could not give it up. But it molted yesterday and um, it was the first time I actually saw tarantulas 
uh, a tarantula mid molt. Uh, 